Ducati Monster 797, 2017 to 2021 review. Manageable middleweight power. The Ducati Monster 797 is that most rare of modern bikes, a turnkey fun machine. It is simple, fun, handles well thanks to its lightweight and is pleasingly devoid of modern electrical assists. Just get on and enjoy without the need to read the instruction manual. This is a stripped back, air-cooled naked that delivers simple pleasures. Uncomplicated, uncluttered and above all, great fun to ride. It's what the monster was always meant to be. Bravo! The Ducati Monster 797 Plus is the very same bike, but with an added flyscreen and pillion seat cover. It was £355 more when bought new. Thanks to its relatively approachable 74 brake horsepower, the 797 is also A2 license-friendly and makes for an excellent first big bike. Sadly, the Monster 797 was dropped from the Ducati range as Euro 5 regulations took effect in 2021. Ride quality and brakes. Tipping the scales at just 193 kg wet, the Ducati Monster 797 is pleasingly light and agile. When you're carving through the bends on the new 797 all you see before you is the road ahead. There are no distractions, and the LCD dash is set nicely below your eye level so that it is easy to read when required, but not obstructive to your view. This is a bike that's all about enjoying the sensation of being in two wheels, and thanks to the wide, flat, bars you feel exposed and open to the elements, which is exactly the feeling you want from a bike like this. Yes, I could moan about the lack of weather protection, but if you want a screen to hide behind, buy a tourer. Engine The addition of Ducati's APTC clutch, which first appeared on a monster, means your left hand doesn't get a workout at every gear change, and although the box is quite clunky, it's fitting part of the bike's overall retro appeal. And the air-cooled motor is the icing on this monster's cake. Some riders go all misty-eyed over an air-cooled Desmodu engine, personally I'm more practical. Reliability and build quality. The air-cooled engine is very reliable and has pleasingly long service intervals of 7,500 miles, which helps keep running costs down, but the cam belts still need changing every 15,000 miles. The quality of finish appears high and Ducati tend not to skimp when it comes to small items such as fasteners. Our Ducati Monster 797 owners reviews show nothing too concerning regarding reliability. One buyer says his gearbox is a little crunchy, but that seems an isolated issue. Value versus Rivals The Monster is at the higher end of the middleweight market, but that is to be expected from a model made in Bologna. The pleasing thing about the 797 is the fact it comes with quality items such as inverted forks and Brembo brakes, helping justify its price. The fact it costs £100 more to get it in anything other than red is, however, a bit disappointing. The Monster 797's rivals include the Yamaha MT-07, the Suzuki SV650 and the Kawasaki Z650. Equipment You don't get traction control or power modes on the Monster 797, but ABS is standard and so are Brembo monoblock radial brake calipers and a USB port under the seat. Ducati's multimedia system can be retrofitted but the inverted forks are non-adjustable and the shock only has spring preload and rebound damping adjustment. A Ducati Monster 797 Plus adds a pillion seat cover and flyscreen, which are useful additions if you're thinking about going touring. 